The White House just issued a brand new executive order focused on UAS operations. And here at Remote Pilot 101, we want to break down what this means for commercial drone pilots. One of the most notable points in this order is this. Within 30 days by July 6, 2025, the FAA is directed to issue a proposed rule enabling BV loss operations or beyond visual line of sight for commercial and public safety purposes. It's important to note that this does not apply to private or recreational drone pilots. This is aimed at commercial and public safety operations under the long anticipated part 108, the proposed regulation to allow for BV loss drone flights. Right now, FAA regulations require you to maintain visual line of sight contact with your drone during flight. For commercial operators, this limitation can restrict efficiency and reach. Many in the industry have been waiting for the Part 108 to move forward, and this executive order could be the push needed to finally bring it to life. Here's the proposed timeline according to the executive order. Within 30 days, the FAA must release a proposed rule enabling routine beyond visual line of sight operations for UAS commercial and public safety purposes. That means a July 6, 2025 implementation deadline. Within 240 days, a final rule on this operation must be issued. That's February 1, 2026. While timelines can shift, this is the clearest roadmap we've seen yet for the expanding BV loss operations, and it's something every commercial operator should be watching closely. Along with the push for BV loss, the executive order also includes another area outlined in Part B, which you see here. This calls for the FAA to publish an updated roadmap for the integrating civil UAS into the national airspace system within 240 days of the date of this order. That means by February 2026, we could see a framework in place to support wider UAS integration and future Part 108 operations. To support this growth, the FAA has been tasked with fully utilizing its UAS test ranges to develop and scale American drone technologies, specifically focusing on BV loss operations, autonomous flights, advanced air mobility, and other cutting edge drone capabilities. According to Part B, this includes identifying any and all regulatory gaps and taking steps to safely integrate manned and unmanned aircraft so that they can coexist safely in the national airspace system. All in all, this executive order could represent a major leap forward for commercial drone operations. If you're already a certified Part 107 pilot, now's the time to start following Part 108 developments closely. And if you haven't earned your Part 107 yet, this may be the perfect opportunity to start your journey and prepare for the future of UAS. So while there's no big changes yet for civil operators with this executive order, we here at Remote Pilot 101 want to keep you up to date on the latest in drone news. Hit the subscribe button and then head over to remotepilot101.com to join our community and get a lifetime access to the industry's leading online Part 107 training. Let's take your drone flying to the next level together.